Good morning. Today is Friday the 12th of June and I'm here at Bart's already. It's quite early for my second appointment. So today is what they call, so it's cycle one, day eight. So it's still like part of cycle one and I will be getting, I think, just chemotherapy today. There's no immunotherapy. So it should be pretty quick, hopefully in and out in like 30 minutes, I hope. We will see. All right, treatment done. Um, it took a little bit longer than expected because uh, I had my blood test done locally and then they had to get the result f uh, from my local place. And it just took a little bit of like telephone calls to be made but we got there in the end and now they've got the telephone number they know who to ring next week so it should be easier it should be quicker next time but I'm so excited because in the blood test results so they're looking at certain things like the white blood count your neutrophils which are a specific white blood cell and um, Last year when I was having chemotherapy, the one thing which kept delaying my treatment is that my neutrophils were dropping to below one. So if they go to below one, you can't have treatment because you are at risk of infection if you haven't got any white blood cells in your system. So I sometimes had these injections, which I did myself into my stomach to boost my white blood cells and um, the only time that my white blood cells let's stop here a minute the only time that my white blood cells would improve is when I had this injection which boosted them um, so last week my white blood count was 6.1 and my neutrophils were 3.9 which is okay. And then this week, my white blood count has gone up slightly. So from 6.1, it's gone up slightly to 6.24. And my neutrophils, which is like my problem, problem area last time in chemo, because I kept dropping, um, they've gone from 3.9 to 5.05. That's without any injections to boost them. That is all just probably through diet and all the supplements that I'm taking, meditation that I'm doing. So it just proves that I'm doing something right. And I used to be quite fearful, you know, my oh, that my neutrophils were going to go low. But now I'm so positive about it that my white blood cells are going to be fine. And it's worked. I'm so happy. But um, when I get home, I'm just going to have a little look at my white blood counts from treatment last year to see if see if there's any anything going on there. But yeah, right, all done and ready to go home. So I'm home, feeling good, and yeah, today's treatment was just chemotherapy. Um, and I explained about my interesting blood results. So I've actually just sent an email to my nurse to find out is the increase in white blood cells and neutrophils expected because I had immunotherapy last week. But um, even so, like it was immunotherapy with chemo. So I kind of thought that there would be a bit of a decrease but I'm so happy that they've gone up literally ecstatic um, so yeah since I've been home I've pulled out my old booklet from treatment last year and just thought I'd have a look at how my bloods compare so Last year, when I started, oh, I've lost the page, hang on, where are you, come back, okay, so last year, when I started chemo, 
I had a blood test done and my neutrophils then were 4.5. So that was before any treatment whatsoever. Neutrophils were 4.5. And then this time when I started treatment, my neutrophils were 3.9, so a little bit less. But yeah, this time, treatment two, or just after treatment one, going into treatment two, the neutrophils had jumped up to 5.05, .05, which is really good. And then just to like compare, so last year it started off neutrophils with 4.5, and then I was having treatment every three weeks. So three weeks later, my neutrophils were 1.64. They'd dropped from 4.5. Three weeks later, they were down at 1.64. That is really low. And then the week after, they were 1.39. If they go below one, I'm not allowed to have treatment because you just don't have enough um, defense in your body and then you'll pick up all sorts and become quite ill so then I flicked through my treatment book and all of the results were either in the, the 2 to 1 range it's like 2, 1 1.86, 1.48, and then one time they jumped up to 5.71 and that was because I'd been given those injections um, in the stomach to boost the white blood cells. Otherwise, apart from that one time, for the whole six months, they were within the two to one range. That's mental. They dropped down to 0.66, so I wouldn't have been allowed treatment that day. 1.19, 1.05. And then my last one, so when I finished treatment, which was on the 7th of January, so I had the blood test, I think, the day before, the 6th of January, um, my neutrophils were 1.6. Yeah, so that's why I had such a tough time, because they kept dropping below one, and then I wasn't allowed treatment. So for them to go, this time, from 3.9... 5.05 .05, without any injections in the stomach is a big deal I'm so happy but yeah um, hopefully like a nurse or doctor will get back to me and just let me know if that's what they were expecting anyway with immunotherapy or just means that everything I'm doing is on the right track so yeah that's all really um, it's my birthday on Saturday so I'm having a few visitors over. I've just prepped some brownies. They are sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, everything free. Um, and then we have a normal cake as well for people that can eat sugar, dairy, everything, everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing a few friends tomorrow and trying these brownies that I've made. All right, that's all. Bye. Well, yeah, I should have lit that because I forgot the candle. Uh -huh. But that girl's going to have cake later, let's see. Mm. Nice. So we've got this healthy creation from Hannah, Kimberly and David. Which I'm so shocked by. What a creation! Fruitcake! 